guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma, and if you are brand new here, welcome. And if you are a returning a subscriber, thank you for sticking around. Um, today's video is going to be a overview and review of um, the of two products actually, the Evan Moore Daily Math Practice uh, for grades five and six. So Evan Moore reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to do a review of one of these and um, I couldn't really decide which one because I'm not, so my son is in fifth grade, my daughter is in seventh grade. Um, in some areas of, in some math areas, um, they're both higher grade levels than what public schools are at and in others they're lower grade levels so I wasn't really sure which one to pick and then I was wondering well these only go um, through sixth grade so I asked if there was any chance I could do both fifth and sixth grade do them with both my kids and kind of um, kind of like a comparison um, review and see how that works and they agreed to that and so they sent me both the fifth and sixth grade. And so I just wanna say thank you very much to the Evan Moore company who sent these to me. You can buy um, Evan Moore books online on their website, or you can find them at places like um, Barnes and Noble. Um, I've occasionally seen them at like Costco or Sam's Club. Um, bookstores typically carry them. Um, school stores, like teacher stores carry them. They're really good. So they're not specifically for homeschool families. Um, I find that they are all geared more towards the uh, public schools. There are now all common core um, correlated um, and they just so they kind of go in with what the public schools are learning at those grades. Um, but that's not to say that you can't use them for your homeschool because, I mean, we do. I've used these types of products from them, not necessarily this particular one, um, for years. Um, when my kids were in public school, we used some of their items. Um, and then since we've pulled our kids out of school and been homeschooling them, we've continued to use some of their items. Um, some of the ones that I've used before, used their daily Have geography been. ones before, that one was really good um, for just a getting a good basic understanding. So I will go into that one at another time because I actually really like that one and will be uh, showing you more of that one. But the geography we've used, we've used the daily math practice um, before we were sent the fifth and sixth grade ones. Um, I believe we used the first and the second one, and then we didn't use it again um, until they sent us the fifth and sixth one. We've also used the phonics one, um, I wanna say twice, and then we've used the reading comprehension. Um, I believe we did the f grade one, two, I wanna say three and four as well. Um, yeah. I want to say it was three and four or, or one of them. Um, so we've used a lot of those. And I, I would say by far my favorites are the geography and the reading comprehension ones. Um, but the math practice ones are really good as well. So I'm just going to show you these. Um, they are all set up the exact same way. So we're talking just the math practice ones today. Um, they all have 36 weeks of five days of work in each grade level, and they're all set up the same exact way. So I can just open you up to, let's see, a week. We'll start, we'll look at week 26. So week 26, you have day one, day two, day 
three, day four, and then day five, which for this week is bigger. It's not always like that, but for this week it is. And then it goes in and restarts day one, day two of the next week. Um, so they're pretty small. So the majority of them are half a page. And then as you get further into the book, you have almost one every day that's a full page or every week that's a full page. But the beginning of the book, it's just like another half page or more of like on this one, half the page is a workspace. Um, I will say that my only thing that I don't extremely like about this is that there's not much space except for the occasional pages like this that have designated workspace. There's not many spots for them to do their work in the book. Um, so unfortunately you will have to give your children just scrap paper um, or a notebook or something, which if you're at home, that's not a problem at all. But if you're like doing this in the car type of thing, that's just another thing that you do have to make sure you have along with you um, because there's not really much space. So for example, um, let's see. So like on multiplication stuff, if they're trying to figure out a big thing, they're really not going to have space to do it in the book. Uh, that's my only complaint with the layout of these, but by them making that there isn't space in here, it makes it, I find, um, very condensed and very easy for the kids to look at and be like, oh, that's not a lot. I just have this little bit of space to do. That's it. So there's a pro and con to that. Um, for my use, I wish that it had a little bit more space, but for the use that they're made for, I think that it works. It's perfect. So um, the fifth and sixth grade are laid out exactly the same, as well as the other grades. The math ones, I believe, are grades one through six. The majority of the products are grades one through six. Um, I think they have a couple kindergarten things. And I thought I saw somewhere that they have some stuff for older kids, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So um, let's talk about ways that you can use these products. Okay, so as I said before, they are made mostly for the schools. Um, they're made for extra practice. So if you are in a school that maybe isn't providing any homework, because I know that there are a lot out there that are trying this no homework thing, and that's a topic for another day as to whether or not you agree with that. If you have a child that maybe needs some extra um, practice in math or any of their other products, um, any of the other subjects, you can get one of the Evan Moore um, grade sets and just have them do an occasional little extra thing after school. And then some kids don't need that and that's totally fine. Some parents can use, use this in the summer, so during summer break. That way their kid's brain doesn't all forget it. Um, if you're a homeschooling family, um, I would not suggest making this a full curriculum. Um, you can absolutely make it like your core and then add in other things to it um, to make it more substantial. Or you can make this your supplemental. So you have your core math and then you have days where you are driving around town and you can't actually teach a lesson but you need them to do some math you can give them that this um, there are several ways you can implement this into your life whether you're homeschooling or um, not it can work for you um, and your children so the books are all black and white or black white and gray so there's not going to be a lot of distractions for kids um, even the pictures are black white and gray um, it makes it very easy to just look at get it done. Um, it does not teach. So uh, these are all supposed to be review. So that is where as a homeschooling parent, um, it probably wouldn't work to be your main subject unless you are having them do something and then you get to a page that they haven't learned and then you take it as, oh, okay, this is something that I need to now go teach and then we'll come back to this. Um, you could do it that way, but this does not have any actual teaching in it. This is all 
supposed to be review for that grade. And as homeschoolers, we're a little different when it comes to the grade levels of stuff. So that's where picking the different um, grade levels, I do like that they have so scope and sequences in their books. Um, and it is two pages, at least for the math ones. Um, I believe all of them are two pages. And it tells you the name of the thing that they're going to do. It tells you the page and lesson numbers. Um, is it the page? Yes. One of them. No, the week that they're going to be um, doing that in. So the fifth and sixth ones are slightly different, as expected. Um, the fifth grade... Yeah, this is the fifth grade one. Uh, you're going to go through stuff such as equations and variables, multi-step word problems involving whole numbers, patterns, factors, uh, place value to millions, decimals, numeral name, and expanded form, um, estimating, rounding, multi-digit division, and multiplication. Uh, you're going to do some fractions and mixed numbers and... Uh, for measurement and data, you're going to do like length, distance, height. You're going to do weight and volume, temperature, time, money, stuff like that. And then in geometry for the fifth grade, they're doing lines and angles, shapes, symmetry, stuff like that. Um, and then in the sixth grade one, you're looking at a little bit deeper. Um, so the fifth grade one has quite a few pages that have some addition on it, the sixth grade, not as much. So like you're going to see that you're going to jump from having more review and stuff than in this one, you're going to have mostly review of fifth grade stuff and then sixth grade stuff. So this one, um, you're going to talk about ratios, percentages, um, uh, mixed number fractions, decimals again, um, prime numbers, rounding, estimating, more place value stuff. You're going to have equations and variables. You're going to have um, order of operations, word problems involving variables. Um, for geometry, you're going to go into area and volume, lines and angles, um, word problems involving geometry. Um, and then you're going to move into statistics and probability. So that's uh, measures of center, um, graphs, patterns, uh, function tables, weight, temperature, time. So just um, this lines up with where the public schools are supposed to be doing. So it, as a homeschooler, I find this very helpful to look and see, okay, well, um, my child has, let's say, half of the things in here we've gone through and half of the things in here we've gone through. So it helps me, one, find some gaps that we need to fill, and two, helps me see um, where they need the extra help. And so getting different books for different grades is totally fine. You find what works for you as a homeschooling family. Um, so that is the overview of the actual product uh, for their daily math Practice. Um, as you can see, there's not much of a difference as far as the layout, the structure of the different grades there. Um, the only major difference is the scope. There sequence. is also at the back of the books, they have answer keys. So as you're getting into sixth grade, I will say that I had to use it a couple times, but um, not too much. And then um, some of their products, they do offer online versions as well. So um, when do I use these products? So I use the math practice one um, during our Christmas break because if you saw my live video, which I will post a link to here, um, you're going to see that we take a rather large holiday break. And so during that time, I have them do math, a, the which math. is one of the reasons why I like this because it's just little snippets. For the most part, I don't have to teach anything because I know these. Um, it's just a review, keep their brain working. Um, and then we use them in the summer if we are not continuing with our core math program. Um, for their other products, products like the geography, which I will do a separate video on, um, I use that as our core for right So now. that's how I use the math practice. 
my overall review of it is that I like it. I really, really like it. Um, it's just, it's simply put together. It is easy to just sit down, have the kids sit down and do it themselves. And then if they come across something that maybe they need some extra practice in or we haven't covered yet, um, I can either sit down and teach them that or um, we can skip that part and come back to it at another time. Um, if it's something they need that they need more practice in, it's very easy to just go online, type in what you want and print off a practice sheet and have them do that for the day. Um, so these are super well-made books that we absolutely love. Um, and I am going to continue to use these workbooks um, as long as I can because honestly they're amazing and I think that they have some items for like through eighth grade if they don't Evan Moore you gotta get on that please because I want to stick with them I really like the layout and just the overall way that it's all done and put together um, the the pages are nice and thick so you're not going to have like pencil or even pen marks bleeding through um, you can tell this one got a little bit bent that's pretty good for you know kids using it every day it's in good shape it's not ripped or anything um, and these are not expensive um, every single one is a little bit differently priced and depending where you buy it I don't actually know how much this costs on their website but um, I will say that when I have bought it at like local places it was let's see it wasn't a math practice so it might be completely wrong but the geography one that I bought um, last year I want to say was like $24 which is great it it's easy and then um, I'm pretty sure the math ones are less but I I could be totally wrong um, but I'm going to have a link below to the um, Evan Moore site, um, a direct link to the 5th and 6th grade one, as well as just a link to their site to see all their amazing products. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know this was kind of brief, but um, I hope it gave you enough of a look to maybe spark your interest and, make, and have you go check it out. If you want to get your hands on one um, before going to the site and ordering different ones you can absolutely look at some of the ones that like a Barnes & Noble would have or a teacher's store uh, Barnes & Noble typically carries the math ones and um, I think the reading comprehension ones um, teacher stores is where I found the geography ones the um, uh, the phonics ones and the other more specialized ones I've ordered from their site online um, but I'm the kind of person who I have to hold it. I have to look through it before I buy it or I really drag my feet in buying it. So um, find it locally, look through it, check the website, figure out if it's for you. Um, and let me know if you've used any of the Evan Moore products before. How do you like them? How do they compare to um, other similar products? Um, that are out there by different companies so far I think that the Evan Moore is the best quality ones that I have found and I've gone through quite a few but I'm sure there's some I haven't found out there so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful and you think others will find it helpful as well feel free to share this and if you're not already subscribed hit that red subscribe button so that you will see all my videos coming up soon thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you later